Well, you know, folks, sometimes things are, are not always what, what it seems. Sometimes things are just not always what it seems. And I guess we know what kind of fight this is going to be. We know what fight is going to be. We know what it is. Guys, I think we got a fight on our hands. I think we do. Stay tuned. I do believe that you can be a, a, fem, a feminine woman and still fight MMA a man in a man's sport or whatever. Um, I just feel like just do you. You know, the attention's cool and all of that, but my main priority is fighting. All right, all right. LD MMA C. It is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, Rachel Ostovich, she's been cleared to fight Paige Van Zandt. That's right, a doctor cleared her to fight Paige Van Zandt. And, you know, guys, man, a broken orbital, or, a broken orbital bone, man. I, I still have to say, man, that that's it's pretty intense, man. I, I don't know what doctor cleared her to actually fight by January 19th. Um, they must going to be doing some hell of healing, man. Like, I don't know, man. I, I mean, she must got Jesus right there beside her that's going to heal that injury man I, I i don't know man i don't know and i'm not saying jesus can't heal he can but you know like what i mean what I, I don't know man who did she get what doctor did she get to actually say you know what you're cleared to fight because a broken orbital bone is no joke y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all i had a buddy man who boxed who i had a broken orbital bone and uh he didn't he didn't realize that his orbital bone was broken he just thought his eye was hurting and he had a headache but come to find out, man, the doctor said if he could have, if he would have taken probably even about two or three more shots, you know, he could have been blinded. So it's no joke, man. Uh, I just, you know, I just, I, I wish the best for Rachel Ostovich, man. And I hope that she comes out of this fight, man, unscathed. Uh, well, it's kind of good and bad. She got an opponent who can't deal a whole lot of damage to you, but she got an opponent that you know every now and then she'll do something where she can knock you the hell out uh you know Paige Van Zandt got power um, all the stuff that Paige Van Zandt can't do she does have power okay I'll give Paige that Paige got a lot of power and Paige got a lot of power in her kicking game and unfortunately I think Paige is gonna go directly to the spot where she got injured I think Paige will do it I mean and Paige will be dumb not to do it you know she'd be dumb not to do it it's just, it's really a risky, risky type deal for Rachel Ostovich. It's very risky. And I got to commend Rachel for having guts. But in my opinion, I'm mine only. I just, I don't know if this is the smartest thing to do. Okay, I just don't, you know, because I've seen people who orbit on injuries. You know, they take, you know, many, many months, man. Almost eight months to a year, like Kell Brook. When Kell Brook injured his orbital bone against Gennady Golovkin, Kell Brook didn't come right back, man. He didn't come right back like a month or two later, nah. And then Kell Brook injured his orbital bone against Errol Spence Jr. He didn't come right back, man. That dude had to take some time off, man. Like, and and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the rationale is, you know, I shouldn't lose this opportunity. Because for Rachel, this is an opportunity. And I'm going to tell you why. Y'all know that this is a battle of the beauties, okay? That's what this is, okay? We'll see some skill somewhere in Rachel probably. We ain't going to see no skill in Paige. But we'll see some skill in Rachel, because Rachel does have some skill. Um, but it's a battle of beauties. And Rachel knows that this is a high-profile fight for her. Like, for her it is. Because Paige Van Zandt, believe it or not, whether we want to admit it or not, people still know Paige Van Zandt. People still know it. And Paige, really, Paige could walk down the street, and some people would recognize who she is. Like, that's how, you know, a person like Paige can, can lose often in the UFC and still be around. Well, that's why. You know, Paige can probably still, you know, put butts in seats. They want to see Paige. I mean, I particularly don't want to see Paige. I, I, I like seeing Paige get beat up. But that's neither here nor there, okay? It's neither here nor there. Um, for Rachel, this is a high-profile fight because think about it. You got two, you know, high-profile, attractive-looking women who, who fight. And who's going to win the battle of the, of, of the beauties? Who's going to win that battle? Okay, which one of these two is going to win? I mean, this would be a big win for Rachel. I don't think it'll be a big win for Paige because Paige has been in there with so many different types of people. She, she's had Paige has been in there with a lot of tough fighters. Rachel hasn't. So if Rachel can get in there and beat Paige, it's a, it's a big deal. And that will build Rachel's profile. It'll build it. And when I say build it, I mean she'll be more recognizable 
because she will attach her name to Paige Van Zandt. And when you Google Paige, then, you know, I mean, even when you Google Paige now, Rachel Ostovich comes up. It comes up. And, uh, yeah, man, that's what this is, man. Um, yeah, man, I, I just hope that she don't do further damage, man, to an already damaged orbital bone. That's what I hope. Um, the fight breakdown of the fight, basically, you got a striker versus a grappler, a wrestler. Rachel Ostovich is the wrestler, and Paige Van Zandt is the striker. Um, I think Rachel could probably win this fight because she's more mobile. She's a lot more mobile than Paige. Paige has a lot of herky-jerky movements, man. And I always get to feel that Paige Van Zandt moves like she's a robot. Like, have you ever seen... I, I don't know, man. Like, it's weird how Paige moves, man. And I'm like, dang, man. How does somebody wake up learning how to move like that? I, it's, I, it's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Um, Rachel's a bit more fluid. A striking it is great, but if Rachel can wrestle you, she can pretty much uh, do some damage to you. And I, and I kind of picked that because Paige, to me, she struggled against wrestlers in the past. And I just think Paige have a hard time. Um, you know, Paige don't do a good job of moving her head. But the one thing Paige got, she got an equalizer, man. She got a kick, man. Her kicks are pretty dangerous. So Rachel is going to have to do a good job of really, you know, avoiding those kicks. All right, she's going to have to. Um, she's going to have to watch for the head kick. Rachel does a good job of moving her head, though, so that's one saving grace. She does a good job of moving her head. And so Rachel could possibly bait uh, Paige Van Zandt into, like, throwing, like, a, a super strike or a heavy amount of strikes. And Rachel could bait her and then actually get a double leg. I mean, it's there. You can double leg Paige Van Zandt. And she's not going to be able to defend it, okay? She's not going to be able to do that, okay? Paige Van Zandt reacts too slowly. Um, and Rachel just got to keep the fight on the ground, man, to protect the eye. She got to, okay? And that's got to be the game plan. The game plan cannot be to stand with Paige Van Zandt. Because even a fighter like Paige with limited skill set can injure their orbital bone. It, it, just ta it takes one shot, man. It takes one. The game plan. It shouldn't be no other game. If, if, if Rachel's team, or, or, or they training her right now, it need to be ground. Go to the ground. Go to the ground. Wrestle. Let your wrestling be on display here, okay? Let it be on display. Do not stand with Paige or it's going to get nasty. And that's just the way it is. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube. And guys, prepare for my official breakdown. Yes, I'm going to do it for this particular fight, okay? I'm going to do a power chart. I'm done. Subscribe.